right, before we go into the review, let's take a look back at the unboxing and the assembly. The good folks at Odin Lake just sent me the Ergo Max 747 chair. It just arrived yesterday, so I'm going to unbox it now and use it at a full day of work sitting at my desk for eight hours. But first, coffee. Okie dokie. We have a box. I bet that's the wheels. Put enough chairs together that I'm guessing this is probably the, the spine or the, the spindle that you set the whole chair on. Honestly, I don't know what this is. It's a big metal piece. Boom, boom, boom. So much bubble wrap. I feel like I'm dissecting that alien on Independence Day. Alright, the back. This is all metal, by the way. I love it when chairs come with little gloves. Hardware. Alright, we're gonna need this. Oh no! More foam. I know it's pretty basic putting a chair together, but there's always one piece that has to go on before another piece. And I always get them mixed up if I don't have the instructions. Anyone who's put together IKEA furniture knows my pain. Look at that. This thing's built. They feel over remake crawl. <laughs> this is why you don't do gloves. I wish I did this yesterday. This morning was garbage day. So I'm gonna have to sit on this stuff for another week. Most office chairs that I've bought, this has failed within a year. It would just kind of sink to the bottom, which is fine for me. I like sitting low to the ground. If I wanted the option to sit higher, the chair I currently use, one of the most comfortable office chairs I've ever owned, cylinder failed. I had the extended warranty from Office Max, and I just said, you know, send me a new spindle, give me some. They just refunded me the price of the entire chair. Free chair. I, I, I kept it. It's still a comfortable chair. But if this thing is as comfortable as it looks, it might get replaced. Sorry, pal. That's a meshy kind of seat where it lets air flow. Forging reminds me of the, the T-800. Who's in the gloves? Gloves are off, baby. I could always edit this part out and make myself a look a lot more confident than this. Looks comfy. Crowning piece. And they all use the same driver size, which I appreciate. Now you could totally hang a backpack off this thing with no problem, and it wouldn't put pressure on the chair itself. My only concern with this chair right now is this mesh type of material my cat's claws would totally get stuck in this this is going to be daddy's chair not yours i was going to give the chair a few weeks of actual everyday use and then we'll meet right back here i think the mark of a good chair is one that you could sit at for a long time and not feel it it's been about two weeks now I've been using the chair at my day job, seated at a desk, working on a computer for eight hours straight. My back is great. I don't have any uh, sciatica issues right now. It was very comfortable, not very distracting. Hi, this is me from the future. Uh, I was going over the footage of what I shot and I realized a dark chair versus a dark background, you're not gonna see a lot of detail. So I've decided to bring the house lights up so you can see more of the chair. I'm gonna hoist it up on top of this table. Wait a second. Buddy. Oh, come on, man. Come on, I know you love the chair. If this isn't a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. That's where the chair has to go. 
Mr. Beast doesn't have to go through shit like this, I bet. Let's get this out onto a table. Nice. Oh, a little winded from that. I'm just gonna go bottom to top and we'll go over what I do and don't like about the chair. The wheels are good and wide. They're hard plastic, not rubber, which tends to pick up cat hair like crazy. Very smooth. Feels like it has some pretty good bearings on it. The legs, very solid cast aluminum, I'm guessing. It's light, but it's sturdy and has a lot of cross bracing underneath. You can see all this down here is metal. So even the arm bracing, very solid. And uh, it comes in, the tilting controls are handled here. This is locked, unlocked. Rather than the little flippy paddles underneath, they don't have to reach down as, as far. Yeah, there's side controllers here. This lets you slide this back and forth. To elevate the seat, it's this. It's already at max height, again, rather than having to reach down. Tension control for the tilt. The arms are very solid. Speaking of the arms, it's uh, 4D adjustable. There's a trigger here. You can raise it and lower it. Okay. There's other degrees of axis that can move in. Tilt. And it slides laterally. Breathable seat, but it does <laughs> attract cat hair. Your, your results may vary. It's very breathable. I can feel a fan through it. Lumbar support right here. It doesn't look like a lot of motion, but you feel it. It's got these individual segments that conform, that conforms to your back. My shoulders hit right around here. This cross beam here, you can hang your backpack or a purse. And the headrest is very adjustable and it's lockable. There's mounting spots for an optional leg rest. I may pick one up eventually, unless I want to send me one. It looks like the back can adjust up and down. Now to get this back on the floor without killing myself. This is a very easy chair to put together. Very clear instructions. And it went together in roughly 20 minutes. I, I can see myself falling asleep in this chair, especially when you get the headrest in just the right spot. Oh yeah. And I was actually afraid of the cats getting their claws stuck in here. Uh, they like to hop on a chair right after I get up, and I didn't have any problems with cat claws getting stuck. But it is a very solid chair, and any time I've ever skimped on a chair, I have regretted it. But I would say it's this chair could potentially last years and years. It only seems to come in black, which isn't a problem for me. Uh, I'm fine with black office chairs. I miss the old days when computers were beige. So there you have it, the Odin Lake Ergo Max 747 is five Bs. It is an extremely comfortable and adjustable chair, very easy to assemble, it's comfortable, it's breathable, and I, I think it's a really cool looking chair. I'll have a link and a code in the description, so maybe if you wanna check one out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. This is The Newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles.